Mystery Mike. Thank you all for tuning in today. Alrighty, I got a neat knife collection to show you. It's really sharp, if you know what I mean. Alrighty, these these knives that I'm going to show you aren't all my knives. I still have quite a few hunting knives. I'm not going to show them all. I'm just going to show you some of my favorite ones. I, I can't remember where I got them. <laughs> Some maybe I can, I don't know, but anyway, I'll show you this one here. I had this knife for a long time. I don't know how long I've had this one, but I know it's been since my teenage years. And that's long enough, but uh, it's a neat knife here. I'm just wondering, I don't, that, I don't think that's... I think, I don't know if that's plastic or not there, but anyway, it's a nice knife. And that's one of my knives there. I'm going to put this one back. See if I can get that to snap. Little leather case. if you have 
had this in your car, but you gotta watch which state you live in with switchblade knives if you carry them, because some states allow them and some states don't. But uh, that's neat, because if you're in your car and ever got trapped, you could use that to break the window. But once again, you gotta watch. You, know, you can't carry this in your car, depending on what state you live in. But it's a switchblade. The switchblade knife was uh, used a lot with the, uh, the United States uh, paratroopers when they did uh, jumping and they were coming down in their parachute and they would get hung up in a tree or whatever they landed into, the bushes or something, that they could just use one hand to cut their self out. So they would use this to cut the strings on the parachute and so on and so on so they could get out of a tree or bushes or whatever so they were used a lot by the paratroopers if you do have a switchblade knife just be careful well as far as that goes be careful with any knife here's a knife uh actually i this is one of my I have used it because I can see where they can clean it up real good. By the way, this is a nice little hunting knife right there. sides right there but that's a real nice little knife see I can open that up too it's a little fold up knife bear got an Indian on it and then looks like it's in the desert a setting in the back there okay I'll put that back in a minute but that's nice I like that a lot nice little tin alrighty alright this is a special little knife I had this knife now so old. God, this is when I was probably eight years old, give or take, and I'm sure my mom and dad got me this. Uh, so I had this ever since Moby Dick's been a minnow. But this is neat. And boy, I'm telling you, boy, have I had this forever. Man, I thought I was everything having that knife. That is really something there. Let me take it on out. it up and everything because it's whew, it's uh, probably 15 years old but it's got a little compass in the handle and just a little pen knife I guess and I used to read 
good knife. But uh, I guess that's about it for now. Maybe down the road I'll see what other knives I have to show. But that's all I'm going to show the knives for now. I thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy showing you all. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for subscribing. I have a P.O. Box number, so if anybody wants to send me something or pictures or, or something that I can show or give me some ideas. I know you all gave me some ideas on here, and some of them I haven't got to yet, but I'm still working on them. I'm still working on doing a survival video. If you want to send me some mail, that would surely be appreciated. Once again, thank you all for your support and thank you all for subscribing and just remember.